for two months now. Uh, been in the real estate game, and I'm trying to get it over in your niche to do some gym stuff. Right on. And he's, he's not going to tell you because he's like a nice guy. He's a humble guy. But those have been the best two months of his life. I'm just I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say it for him because yeah. – like Okay. Very true. Yeah. Uh, I'm Angel Castillo. I've been doing dropshipping e-commerce, basically, you know, having an online store, selling products uh, for, for a while now. And my best months were $30,000 in revenue. And now I'm just looking to move that marketing side and create an agency for gym owners and personal trainers because I'm, like, really passionate about fitness. And I know that I could, you know, help other people get – helping other people, you know, get them clients and stuff like that. So nice. Uh, nice. Right. Yeah. And, and then Alex, who are you, man? Who are you? My name's Alex Friedman. I'm from California or uh, Los Angeles, California. I just moved to San Diego eight months ago. I've been a personal trainer for like seven years. I just opened up my first gym and I'm here to work with Mike. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna open it up like this, dude. I'm gonna open up. I don't know what's up with Joseph. He messaged me, but we're gonna rock and roll with it. Um, I'm gonna open it up like this. Uh, I'm gonna open up with the Alex. Whatever he wants to talk about. The the purpose of this thing is really sales. Okay, I want to spend an hour with you guys to talk about sales, and this is what I have on the books. So there's Alex, his best practices, what he wants to talk about. There's Gage. I want to do a Q&A with you guys. I want to talk to you guys about the sales process, my best practices, and we'll talk to you guys about altitude. So, um, Alex, do you have anything for them, or do you, did you guys have Alex questions for Alex as a gym owner, personal trainer? Alex, so, um, you? I mean, I'm just, I just kind of jumped on the call. I know you guys are doing sales, so I figured that I would do any kind of whatever you wanted me to do and then answer any questions that you guys had, or I could tell you, you know, some, we could do some drills, some role playing, see what it is. I pretend the gym owner, and you guys are the marketing guys. I don't know. I don't know what you want to do, but whatever you want to do, I'm down to do it. You guys, do you have questions for Alex? Uh, not at this moment, no. Uh, me, me. Do you really get approached by marketing people? And if so, like, what's the, like the most annoying thing, like that me or Temple should get away from? Um, I mean, I, you know, it's, I haven't been approached by that many marketing people. Just okay. because I've been doing Facebook and Instagram ads for <laughs> clients since like early 2015. Like this is nothing new to me. So I've been doing it for a long time. Plus I have Mike on my side. So, you know, I, my business is already thriving. But the thing that I would say is <clears throat> when people approach, approach the client as if you're trying to really help them, don't be too aggressive ask them what their problem is, give them a solution, and then give them an example of how you are going to solve that problem or I've already solved that problem for somebody else. It's like, be confident with your words, be uh, connected with the client, establish that a relationship with them, and then once they like you, know you, and trust you, throw in the stuff that you've done or like, you know, existing clients, I've worked with this person, I've worked with this person, let me show you what I can do. Kind of like when Gage did Gage, who, who got you into the, in, into Mike's program? Gage. Okay. So you know how Gage, you know how Gage called you, you know, you, you see, I don't click on Facebook ads anymore. Cause I'm like, I know what they are. And unless I want something, I won't do it. So yeah. I don't approach as much. And if I do, I start asking him questions about the things that I already know and they don't talk. And I'm like, I'll just be like, well, apparently I know more than you do about my marketing. I don't know how you're going to help me. Gotcha. Um, but remember how Gage approached you on the phone and he was talking to you and then he did the demo and he got like, you, he like, you started to like him and then you knew, knew him and then you trusted him. And then he mm -hmm. showed you proven results of his program and his business. And you're like, okay, I'm going to sign up with this dude because he's real, you know? Gotcha. That's the only thing I could say. Don't. And, and in terms of like, I mean, you can't like the word pestering doesn't exist when you're trying to sell somebody your program. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's all about how you pester them, if you want to use that word. Like, it's all okay. about how you call them, what you say on the phone. You know what I mean? Like, I had some chick that I called the other day to get in the gym for a consultation, and I picked up the phone and literally was like, I, don't, I think her, I can't remember her name. Let's just say her name was Adriana. I was like, Adriana, what's up, girl? How you doing? And she's like, I'm good. How's it going? I'm like, oh, fucking awesome. How are you? She's like, 
who is this? I was like, it's Clark Kent. Um, it's Superman, straight up. And she's like, Superman? I was like, yeah, Superman. She's like, who the hell is this? I was like, it's really Superman. Are you Wonder Woman? And she's like, what? She's like, what about Batman? I was like, well, I could be Batman too. And then I go, and then she goes, okay, okay, enough of the bullshit. Like, who the fuck am I talking to? And I'm like, I'm just pulling your leg. It's Alex from Property Fitness. You signed up for my six-week challenge. I was just calling to talk to you about it. And she's like, oh, my God, how are you? You know, like, gotcha. I'm weird on the phone, you know. So, Don't be so, afraid of their personality and, like, connect with them. Yeah, so, sure. so the takeaway from that is, like, he builds, like, ridiculous amount of fit affinity. You know, when you want to create an understanding, the first thing you want to do is create affinity. People call that, like, rapport. Alex, mm -hmm. Alex's people skills is on a whole different level. It's fucking it's unreal. Stupid as hell. It's unmatched. I, like, I've never seen before. He knows, how to, he knows how to create that connection. So people are, like, almost, like, indebted. They're like, dude, I got to do something with this guy because he's such a fucking great guy. And I feel that connection legit. And his, his motive is, is, is me. And then the second is prolific. Okay. Temple, what do you, what, what do you know about prolific? Uh, um, I know we've talked about it before. I should know more about it. That's for sure. Okay. Angel, what do you know about prolific? So basically you want to be in the point, like close to where you shouldn't say stuff like that. Like, you know, there's like, there's like formal stuff. And then there's like stuff that you might go to jail for. Like people yeah. get really offended by. So you want to be like really here, like really touchy on the edge. Just like not corporate and not like you're in the street talking to your homies. Right. It, it's like right here. It's Madonna and her prime. It's Kanye West. It's Lady Gaga. It's Dennis Rodman, Howard Stern. Mike, you're a perfect example of prolific. Look at Mike. Mike is some dude that grew up in the projects. He fucking works his ass off. He still dresses <laughs> like he's in little hood, but he's the best dude ever. And he gets results. You know what I mean? Like no bullshit. That's prolific. Mm -hmm. Like you see me on the phone in person. I have this wild energy. I connect yeah. with people. I'm, I'm very, I'm very like, where's that line? Let me find it. When it yeah. comes to like being obnoxious and like pushing the buttons, but yeah. I, I get away with it, you know? But that's how I was taught how to sell. Like the first thing that made sense to me in selling, because I was never into selling, was like, know, and trust, right? So show them your personality, make them like you, let them trust you, and then they want to buy your shit. Yeah, so he walks that edge, dude. Like no one else, she's not going to get a phone call like that throughout the whole fucking week, throughout the whole damn month, probably the whole damn year. You know, it's fucking crazy, dude. He's talking about he's Superman and shit. And this is like 30 seconds in. You know what I mean? I got, I got a question, if I could. Yeah. How prolific would you want to be with real estate agents? I'm feeling you'd want to be a little less toned down, right? Mm -hmm. You guys yeah. got to come to that? Well, okay. So, I mean... I have a weird gift, like Mike said, with people saying <laughs> stuff like that. So one of my best friends is a pretty big time commercial real estate agent in um, LA, right? He's been doing it for a long time. He's older than I am. He's very successful. He's on his way to starting his own deal. Like he's doing really good. And I, I noticed his approach to the way he talks to people and the way I talk to people. And I've hung out with a lot of his friends and like talked about, you know, like I'll go with him to lunch where it's like, okay. You know, this is some guy that's making like $20 million a year. No bullshit. I'll feel him out that one for like, you know, however long. And I'll throw little jabs in there. You know, like I'm, I'm throwing little hooks in there and seeing if they catch, you know. And right away, I know if I say one tiny little thing that if it catches him, it's like, okay, I can't take this person this way. You have to know ver like you're throwing verbal punches at them, but like little jabs, you know, like, like little ting, ting, ting. Yeah. And when you hit something, you'll know. So you'll, uh, right away, I'll know, okay, how far can I go with this guy? Like, how funny is this guy? Is he like humor or is he too straight and narrow? You know what I mean? And to be honest with you, I'm at that point now where, like, I'm so comfortable with who I am and what I do and how I act that, like, if they don't like it or they don't want to work with me, then it's not like it anyways. Yeah. And then to, to be honest with you, with the, whole my business, you know? with the whole prolific thing, man, it's not about, like, being fake. It's about being you. It's just about being you. So don't like if you're not fucking Howard Stern, just don't be Howard Stern. If you're not, like, I'm, I'm not call. I'm not telling you to call the CEO of Coldwell Banker and you'd be like, "Yo, what up, motherfucker? My name's Temple, <laughs> you yeah. bitch." You know? <laughs> you do a coconut. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like you, that, that's not what, what what this is about. It all, just be real, be you, and then if that's you, just fucking magnify who you are, 
And then number two, dude, it's all about confidence, dude. It's all about confidence. You can get away with a lot of shit if you're certain and if you're confident. You know what I mean? Like that that's what it's about. When Alex mm-hmm. makes these phone calls, dude, he's just mac he's just being who he is. You know, but someone else, if I hired a salesperson on my team and he called a client and he was talking about Batman and he wasn't fucking certain, I'd be like, fucking do it. Follow the fucking script. <laughs> oh, look who it is. <laughs> hey, the prodigy. Damn. <laughs> Damn, we were just talking about you, dog. We're like, he's never <laughs> always shows up on time. He's so efficient. And then you're fucking. Like, <laughs> I, you, you didn't tell me. Okay. Oh damn! I did, I can't even see his screen. The little English guy's here. Dude, that's hey, what happened, Mister UK Prodigy? You forgot to do your hair this morning. This dude brought on like fucking seven clients in the last seven weeks. I know. I love this. Yeah, dude. boy. He's amazing. We've talked before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Alex, before we move on, do you guys have anything for Alex? Alex, do you have anything that we're not missing? Best practices. Well, the one thing I would say is that I'm pretty wild and I'm comfortable with being wild and that's just kind of my personality. I'm not saying that what I do is going to work for you. Mm-hmm. You kind of got to find your group. Like I'll use an example for me and I like, yeah, I talk to that woman like that, but then you guys have all talked to Gage on the phone and you've seen the way he does it. He also has a lot, he has a good approach to his. His is more technical, but it's confident. You know what I mean? He knows what he's talking about. He knows how to agree with you. He goes in and he like finds little things that you're talking about and that he likes too. So he, he'll bond with you on the phone and then he'll talk about the program and he'll get you. And it's not like a shady way, you know, like he's like your friend, but he's more technical on the sales. I'm more like wild. So you got, you have to find that balance point between, okay, I believe in myself and I'm the shit and this is who I am in life. And you have to find your way on how to shoot that out to the people that you're trying to get to. And once you do it, you'll find it, you know? Like, I, at first, I didn't have any idea what I was doing, you know? I would call people in, and I'd get all nervous, and I'd ask them for their money, and I'd be like, okay, so my program's 2500 bucks, And they're like, what? And I'm like, you can't afford that? And they're like, what? I'm like, oh, well, maybe, can I think about it? Yeah, I'm going to call you tomorrow. Okay, and then you never hear from them again. Now, I'm running in the program, and I'm like, da 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 This person is so excited. And then you're like, okay, cool, here's the deal. Write it down on the board. These are the numbers. Just look at them. And then either they do it or they don't. And then you have to have, like, you know, handling objections. Yeah, there's objections, but yeah. common objections or whatever you get, and just handle them your own way. Don't, like, to a T, you can't follow it. It's, it's really, like, what works for you. Because if you're the kind of person that just follows direction and you go with handling objections and you're this monotone dude, it's like, well, I'll have to talk to my boyfriend. Okay, we'll call your boyfriend right now. You know? Yeah. It's more like, don't even worry about it. It's all good. Actually, let's call your boyfriend right now. I want to talk to him and explain to him how amazing this is going to be for you. You know? So, Joe, this is your own thing. Alex is a, he was a personal trainer, turned online coach, turned gym owner. He knows everything about Facebook ads. He knows a lot about Facebook ads. Mm -hmm. Uh, We turn, we have questions about, where the fuck is, Joseph. Hey, he's yeah. there. He just keeps, I don't know why his thumbnail keeps moving. He's, yeah, they look at you. <laughs> he's the prodigy. He just. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any questions in about sales to a gym owner? Uh, um, one thing that like I'm like struggling with a lot of my gyms is that they can't like fit like these like these transformation sessions in. Like they can't have like 15 to 20 minute slots of like getting people in. Like they just run like continuous sessions. Is that something that you've like seen in the past or like? like a lot of them they don't have like slots for like just 15 minute like appointments they just run like content one five yeah 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 um okay so there are are when you're selling them the programs are you basically mike are they following like the transformation session and like it's Mm -hmm. like one person at a time and yeah like okay so here's the thing about the transformation session so you're so let me get this let me make sure i understand you probably you're saying that their problem is that they don't have enough time and they're packing in too many people? Yeah, so, so basically what, they, what a lot of them do is they run like these like intro sessions with, with like a bulk of people, not just one person. It's not like personal training. It's like, like a CrossFit gym where it's just continuous okay. sessions. Yeah. So, so they can't really do like these transformation sessions where it's like an hour for just one person, if that makes sense. <clears throat> okay, so in terms of that, um, they're obviously not selling super high ticket items. They're trying to yeah. get them into like a month. Like what are they selling them? 
that make yeah, yeah that's not what they're selling i can better tell you what yeah yes yeah. so right now they're selling like uh, like monthly packages like yeah, 100 pounds a month packages like okay. like eight pounds a month package yeah like just the normal standard gym type things okay oh that's yeah. easy that's easy all you have to do is tell them that they're no longer going to do it in a group they need someone that is going to sit down with these people one or two people and then you're going to block out uh, we tr I've tried this before and me and Gage have actually worked on something like this. So we know it works four hours in the day. Right. So like, let's say four to 9 PM and you call all the leads and book them all at the same time or whatever, just fill up that time slot, whatever works for you four, four thirty five, five thirty six, 35, 5 36. Okay. And then next thing you know, there's like 20 people that are coming in, but you're seeing one person at a time, 15 minutes, take their measurements, their body weight, all that stuff, ask them what their goals are. And then hit them with the uh, what's that noise? That was that's that I think that was me, my bad. Oh, okay. that. Um, I, I got a question, Joseph. How do they traditionally sign people up? Because nobody's just walking to the gym with a credit card. There's some no, sort they're, of uh, they're no, a a lot of it. Yeah, it? a lot of it a lot of it's like SEO on Google, like just typing like CrossFit in da, 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 da. a lot of it's SEO. It but like I said, like, like the, the big problem they're having is they, they just run like these continuous sessions that they don't. I don't know. Know. Okay, look, I see them on Google. I walk in the gym. What happens yeah. next? Um, they, 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 yeah, so, so they normally do like an intro session. A lot of the CrossFit stuff that I work with have like free intro <clears throat> sessions. What is an intro session? What do I get for that? It's just like a one hour session, just like learning, like just kind of a, like a beginner's guide to CrossFit. Okay, it's so like that's, a, that's the transformation session. That's it. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah. We're spending so fucking hour. They can't give yeah. minutes. So, fifteen minutes I, of workout. That's it. Twenty minutes well, max. Okay. I, I I have some input on that as well, Joseph. You said that a lot of these CrossFit gyms they're just doing intro sessions with a big group of people, right? Mm -hmm. So they could either schedule their transformation sessions every day and fill up a certain block with all the leads that they're scheduling and coming in, and just have everybody to do that group. Or if they have somebody that can run the intro session with a bunch of people and then have someone else there at the gym. Cause I'm sure they have a couple staff members yeah, that yeah. can do the transformation session one-on-one. -on -one, then it still gives a good feel because the intro sessions going on, there's activity in the gym. Okay. He has things to talk about and point out. So there's a couple different ways that like these guys could maneuver and still be able to do their transformation session without even mm. having to mess with what they already do. Okay. Okay. And how, how, how do they actually like, so, so when, like once the session's finished, how do they actually go and sell them? Is it like, cause obviously if they're trying to sell like to a bulk, do they just like tell them the price or like, oh, that's kind of the problem. They've that's, been that's the problem is if, okay. So they, all they know that they're selling is a membership. That's it. There's yeah. no structure. There's no program. There's nothing behind what they're selling. So it's yeah. like walking. It's like, you know, you're walking the blind horse. Basically you're yeah. walking all these people into a room and there's 25 people and you're like, Hey, sign up for CrossFit. Why the hell should I sign up for CrossFit? What, yeah. what are you so amazing about? What are they yeah. doing to like the wow factor? You have to wow them into, into buying your product. And if there's no yeah. show, okay, let me tell you guys a story. So my dad owns a company called the Friedman group. The Friedman group has been around since 1980. My dad started with nothing. He became the most successful retail consulting firm in the world. There's Friedman groups licensed in, I think, 12 different countries right now. So they do sales training, management training, district management training, and like a company protocol for uh, retail stuff. And they have mm -hmm. a slogan. It's called Showtime. And, this, and it goes like this, Showtime. What do you want the sales for to do? Sell. When? Now. And the reason it's called Showtime is – Every single time you get into a situation where you have a client on the phone, you have the client in front of you, it's showtime. You have to flip the switch. You have to become that person, right? So yeah. if there's no wow factor and there's no structure, like the transformation session has a whole thing, right? It's all planned out. It's all nice and pretty. Like do this, yeah, do, that, yeah. do that. If they don't have something like that, then it's going to be really hard for them to sign people up essentially, you know? Yeah, yeah okay. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. So, so, so that, yeah. Okay. Okay. What I would do is maybe work with Mike or you know me and Mike together and try and figure out some kind of program. They can still be transformation sessions, but there has to be more. It has to be it. It's like it's like you're throwing out a program that's not perfected yet. You know, they're not doing it the way the program's made to be done, so it's not working yeah. properly. So yep. there has to be a structure for their program that works for them. And then when you can do shit like that, 
then you just became the best fucking marketer in the UK, especially with fitness businesses. Because anybody can give you a program, but if the program doesn't work for you and you can help them restructure it to work for them, yeah. you just became a hot commodity, real hot commodity. And your, yeah. your value just went up way up, you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, Alex, we'll come back to you, dog. But we didn't solve this problem, though. Gage, what, what do you got for these guys, man? Dude. <laughs> uh, <coughs> my big thing is... We're talking about sales, dog. Yeah, my, my big thing is just making sure that we take care of actually what needs to be taken care of. So I'll start with Angel. Angel, what's like the number one thing that you really find a headache as far as sales go? With just as far as sales in general, what's like the number one thing you have a problem with? I guess it's he's like right now it's you. <laughs> um, I guess it's just like getting getting through the first seconds of like the gym owner, the business owner, whoever you're talking to, mm -hmm. uh, like acknowledging who you are and what you do without them running away. You know, like those first few seconds when you like introduce yourself. And they're like, oh, man, like, I don't really want to talk to this guy. Or like, I don't really have time for this. You know, just yeah. getting, you get him passed through that. And then, because after that, then, you know, you just get into a conversation. It's more relaxed. You're like the icebreaker. You know, you, you're already right. past the first few seconds. You're not going to hung up on you. So you're kind of chill. But it's just those first few seconds, like what to say, what not to say. How right. to, we already talked about, like, how to sound. Like, you want to be prolific. You know, you want to be uh, something that, right. it's not like a monotonous call. Like, hey, this is Andrew from the Media Care Marketing Agency. Would you want to buy our programs? Like nothing like that. You know, you want to be explosive. Uh, but it's just like those first few seconds, like after you say like, Hey, my name is Angel, blah, blah, blah. Like, how do you keep the knot from hanging up on you? Or like, how do you keep them interested so, in those first so few you, seconds? Do, so is it an anxiety thing? Like you just feel like, you know, it's an uncomfortable part of the conversation or have you had a lot of people hang up on you during your uh, introduction? I feel like it's just an anxiety thing, to be honest. Okay. It's just so, the, the main thing, dude, the main thing is just, in a way, be assumptive. Like, when I, when I called you for the first time, I didn't say, you know, hey, this is Gage, you know, with Mike Barron's office. Uh, it, it wasn't like, a, like, a, like, a, like an awkward or like a robotic statement. I was like, hey, Angel. And you're like, yeah, who is this? I'm like, dude, it's Gage with Mike Barron's office. How you doing? You know what I'm saying? So you, you, you open it. It's just opening up lightly. You know what I mean? And be assumptive. Like they already know you. It's, it's certainty. And when you're, when you're certain like that and when you spit off somebody's name, and if I call either of you guys, hey, Angel, hey, Temple, hey, Joseph, Alex, Mike, when I just call you out by your first name like that, I'm like, hey, what's up? Mm. It immediately puts you into this state because I'm so certain that you know who I am where you're like, Gage, Gage. You know, like, and it keeps you there for a minute. And it's like, I'll tell you guys a story as well. It'll be real quick. So Mike, back in uh, 2016, him and uh, one of the guys who used to roll with us, Nick Pena, they went to a college here in San Diego to kind of like scope out some new talent as far as like video, web developing and stuff like that. And you guys know on a university campus, a lot of times you have to have like your student ID. You have to like really belong there to even be there, right? And Mike and Nick, operating off certainty, walked into the campus and was just walking around the campus and no one said anything because they had the attitude of like, we're supposed to be here. We're certain. You know what I mean? And they were able to do their thing. They were there all day long. We went and in the it, classrooms. The security said something at one point. They're like, can I help you? I was like, no, I'm good, dude. Can I help you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, it's just it's just a certainty thing, dude. So when you, when you introduce yourself, just let these guys know. Yeah, hey, Jeff. This is Angel, buddy. How you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. Who is this again? Yeah, it's Angel from, you know, XYZ Agency. You got a second to chat, man? I got something for you. Oh, dude, I, it, that's, that's, that's when they'll make the turn and like, oh, I only have a couple seconds or okay, what you got? You know what I mean? So, so from there, you'll be, able to, you'll be able to use your judgment as far as like whether somebody's really pressed for time or if they really don't want to talk. And you can kind of go off of that to ask them the right questions to keep them there. You see what I'm saying? So, so Angel, let me, let, me, let me kind of break this down a little bit. If you walked into your home, okay, you go to work, you walk into your house, and whoever's there, would you, would you be comfortable walking into your house tonight at 11 o'clock? Yeah, of course. For sure, because you're supposed to be there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so a house two blocks down the road that you've never been in, would you be comfortable just walking through that door at 11 o'clock at night? No. No, they'd be like, what the fuck? You know, they grab a gun or something, <laughs> right? Because mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're really not supposed to be there. 
So when you make these phone calls, dude, you have to have the mentality and the mindset that you're supposed to be there. And you have to have that fucking comfort and that confidence. And the way you're going to have that, you know that you can help. Them. And the way that you know you can help them is you put in the time, you put in the work, you invest the money and your energy to learn this shit. So when you go into these phone calls, dude, it's like, hey, hello, uh, Angel? Yes. Hey, Angel, it's Mike. I'm walking into my house. Uh, Mike, Mike, which Mike? It's Mike Barron. Mike Barron. Yeah, it's Mike Barron from Limelight Media. Hey, but I wanted to reach out to you, and then you hit him with the pitch. So you have to have that fucking mentality like you're supposed to be there, dude, and make all the difference in the world versus the guy that hasn't done this or hasn't put in the work. They're shaky. They're rocky. Their voice is cracking, okay, and they're going to know. So here, here's what I want you guys all to remember. Certainty creates certainty. If I'm fucking certain, people tell me all the time, they're like, Mike, I'm going to be honest with you, dude, like – the reason why I'm doing this is because you have a lot of fucking confidence in this. Like, and I know, dude, I tell Gage and all the fucking guys, I'm like, dude, listen, if we lose a fucking deal, that is completely, completely fucking off. That's left for us. Cause I know no other marketer is going to fucking pitch demo and follow up like us. I know that. So when I get on with these motherfuckers, I'm so confident, so certain. Cause I put in the work. I know, I know what it is. So well, it's kind of like the only reason that they're not going to sign up with us is because they don't have the money. Like literally, like literally we had a guy told Gage yesterday. He's like, dude, I love this so much, man. Like I just don't have the money and he's fucking logging into his bank account. And Gage is like, no, dude, I like, I'm a man. You give me your word. That's so yeah. like, no, I'm going to show you. I don't have money in my bank account. Like, and I'm like, yeah. And, and, and that's the same thing Mike said about the confidence and the certainty. Like I've had plenty of people tell me, dude, the main reason I'm doing this is just because of how confident you are. When you're shaky on the phone and you're, and you're uncertain and you're confused, it creates more of that. Mm -hmm. And then they're thinking, okay, well, this guy's like on, on ice about even talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. how's he going to be able to help me? Does he even know what he's doing? You know, when I, when I got up, when I got on the phone with you, Angel and, and even Temple, because I think I had the first contact with Temple too. Yeah. When I got on the phone with you guys, huh. it was like, dude, we can help. This is what it is. X, Y, and Z. And, and you guys are like, okay, okay, I get it. You know? And it was just like a dude, this is what it is. This is what we can do. And it was just certain. So it made you guys feel comfortable and you're like, all right, this guy knows what he's talking about. You know? Um, Temple, Tim, do you have any questions? Yeah. I was about to yeah. say, Temple, what's your main thing? My main thing is I'm really trying to get this frame control down, especially at the first like five minutes of the meeting, you know how you're supposed to be like, yeah, what I have to show you is affordable. I got the results to prove it, blah, blah, blah. We go into rock and roll. I've been having some resistance with that the past couple of days, especially uh, um, yesterday. And it's, I'm getting two answers. Uh, one is just straight up like, look, dude, like I'm not going to say yes to anything because I haven't seen anything. And then the second I got yesterday, which kind of surprised me, is like, he's like, no matter what, I'm not signing up today. I'm not ready until the first. So I rescheduled for a couple of days before the first, and I'm just playing touch-up game okay. now. So are you, are you like the, t like, like, the, yeah, oh, that's why I was about to say like the test clothes. Like, dude, would you roll with me if I can do X, Y, and Z? The only dude, way, hold on, Gage, the biggest, I'm sorry, the, the, I'm sorry, Gage. The only way to find out what you're doing, not doing, hit Gage right now, dude. Hit him with the, how you're asking the question. And we'll okay. tell you what you're doing and not doing. We're going to push you on front street now. Come on, baby. I'm going to put you in front of 20,000 followers right now, dog. You're going to be on right. front street. Tell me, get tell, it. Me to shoot, tell me to shoot. Tell me to shoot. Hey, listen, dude, I'll, prom I'll promise you I'm not being awkward. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> My man, how are you doing today? All right, no, I'm I'm doing I already screwed up. I already screwed up. Dave, no, no, you're good. You're good, dude. Just go straight into the test close. Like, me and you, are. we've already been talking, and you're about to do your test close on me. Perfect. Look, Gage, my man, I know this sounds crazy. I know you haven't seen anything yet. Obviously, you've seen those couple case studies that set your way, but that's it. If I, what I'm going to show you today is affordable. I have the results to back it up. It looks awesome to you. Would he be willing to rock and roll with me today? I got one thing for you. Yeah. It's a part of the pre-framing. When you, when you start it off, don't remind them that they haven't seen anything yet because you're about to show them, right? So, like, I, I, I'll give that right back to you. Okay. Hey, okay. Temple. It's just an out, dude. You're giving them an out. Yeah, that's all it is. I, I got you, though. So, we're on, and I'm like, hey, Temple, brother, it's good to be on with you. How you doing? I'm good, man. Good. Awesome, man. Look, what I'm about to show you right now can easily make you another 10 to 15 grand in new revenue in the next 30 to 60. My man, if I can really put a system into play for you that's going to generate leads for you at will, everything makes sense 
and the price isn't ungodly, it's a good fit, would you roll with me today? Temple, you know, yeah. you know when you're asking, you know when you're asking the question. Here comes the prodigy. Like in like, intro bit, when you're asking the when when you're asking the questions, like they'll, they'll probably tell you the pay, like they'll, like they'll probably explain you know what, what their pay goal is for like the end of the year. Use that in the commitment bit, like say okay, you know if they told you that John wants to hit fifty new clients by the end of the year, if say I, you know if we can actually get you know, fifty clients, you know. We, mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so, yes. So, so Joe, so, you learn you learn that upfront commitment from from me right yeah yeah do you get the same satisfaction that i get when i ask it and like yeah there, there was a guy there, yeah yeah. Yes? yeah 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 yesterday there was a guy who said like oh i'm not too sure and i was like hang on but like if we can you know kind of come to you went back into it i like you know if we can come to like an agreement by the end of the meeting you know would you be like ready um and he was like yeah okay fair enough and, and it, then, it, feels, it feels good dude it's and that's a critical part of the sales process dude yes and Temple, that was the next thing that I wanted to give you. So if they still give you resistance and they're like, oh, well, man, you know, I don't know. Regardless, I, I won't be signing anything today or, you know, I'll have to wait until blah, blah, blah. Regardless, just go back in one more time. Hey, brother, I get it. Agree. And then redirect it right back into it. Look, dude, I'm with you. I get it. But if I could really help you do X, Y, and Z, like you mentioned before, I mean, you got me right now, man. If I could really help you do that and everything makes sense, if it's a no brainer, dude, would you roll with me today? And a lot of times you'll get a different answer that time. They'll be like, okay. all right, man. Yeah. I'll roll with you. Good. Okay. We got somewhere to go, brother. You know, also, like, yeah. you got to remember too, we've been doing this shit every day for a long time. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. Don't like <clears throat> being nervous with the pitch and getting on the phone and building the rapport and the affinity like Mike talks oh. about. It doesn't come overnight. The only way to get better at it is to keep doing it. You know what I mean? Just keep mm -hmm. calling. Mm -hmm. Just pick up the phone and call random people if you have to. How yep. are you getting? You are you just free. calling leads like from the internet? Like you're running Facebook ads and stuff like that. I'm sending right now. Right now, I'm, like, I'm sending like videos. Like I'm building like custom funnels for clients. Oh. And then sending, like, oh. Um, and then doing like warm calls rather than just full, like full cold calls because then they, they're not like nine times out of ten they see they've already seen the video and then I'm, I call them to say okay what did you think and then I do that because not call, because then it's not a cold call Joe 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 some new new and just having set like yeah I just Temple's looking at him Temple's looking at him that motherfucker has all the right answers. <laughs> Temple, are you are you cold calling people? Are you calling more like what? Cold what calling, straight up. I pull up the realtor list and I just I just start dialing, smile and dial. What are you trying to sell them? Houses? Like what's your deal? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to sell them. Um, getting qualified pre scheduled appointments. Okay, okay. Because because so many so many realtors hear this lead thing every day and they're tired of hearing leads. They don't, they can give a shit less. They have services like Zillow that are costing the arm and leg, giving like ten leads a month. You know, they're not even exclusive to them. They're shared with a bunch of agents. And so they're tired of hearing leads because they just think of like, you know, really shitty stuff. So well, I try also, to more frame it as like. have no idea about what we actually do when it comes to yeah. that generate. Like it's, it's stupid, you know? You just send them a picture of someone getting hosed in the face. Like this is what you're going to get. And they're like, no, you're lying. And then anyone <laughs> that actually signs up is like, dude, what the fuck? Angel. You know? So Angel's yeah. like the newest part of the team. Angel, yeah. do you know what we're talking about? What Temple's saying about framing? As in framing, like are we talking about that? That answer, getting that, yes, I will do business with you. Did you understand all that? I am, I am, but I, I'm not sure where, like, we're in the process. Like, I know where it's, okay. like, first call okay. calling, then it's, like, the 15-minute uh, uh, sort of call on the computer, like, setting that up. Yeah, let me where, just, where does this come from? That's right before you move into the demonstration. Okay, so I want to give you that understanding. You want to get commitment from people up front. Okay, yo, Angel, listen, dude. If what I show you can wow you, if you can see value in it, if, you know, if I can prove it to you, and the price is affordable, Angel, would you like seriously do business with me today? And um, and what what are you expecting from that? Just a yes, or do you want them? Yes. That's it. It's it's not only do you want to get a yes, you want to get yes throughout the whole demonstration in the whole process. Because yes, fucking is agreement, and agreement is sales. Not only do you want to get a commitment up front, you also want to know where you're fucking at. Okay? The guy's going to say, dude, if you would you know who could help me, dude, I'll rock and roll with you yesterday. And that does happen. Dude, yeah, heck yeah. It just really depends on how much, but I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I had I mean, guys. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
I was just going to say, I had a guy down in uh, San Diego who was running a gym in Scottsdale Corporation, and I did that test closed up front. He was like, yeah, man, 100%. How'd that feel? Okay, How'd that feel? It felt great, man, because I okay, knew I had to deal at the end. Before we move on, dude, because we got we to gotta get your stuff handled. Hit Gage again. Okay, $20,000. Hit me. My man. I know. You're good. I'm off. Okay. Just Here's let it go. Man. So what I'm going to show you today, what I'm going to show you today, obviously is going to get you another 20 to 30 new members over this next few months, especially this first month, you're really going to get hard. But if I want to show you can do that for you, I got the results for you. And I obviously got some testimonials to back it up. Would you be willing to rock and roll with me today? Yeah, I can do that, man. If everything makes sense. Awesome. We've got a deal then. We got something to work with. All right. How was that? Better? It was, it was more certain. I, I would okay. just get in some more reps. Just get in some more reps until stages. And this goes for all of you guys. You're going to go through stages where you go from almost awkward to mm. kind of robotic because you finally have it down, but you're just working on getting the certainty all the way there. And then you finally bust through the wall and you're like, man, Temple, if I could really do this for you, man, you want 30 leads. If I could really get you 30 leads in a month, in a week, you know, and this thing really makes sense, dude, and I can really crush this thing. Would you roll with me, brother? Like, it's just you, 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 you build it up with more reps. So, like, now that, you, now that you made that little tweak and you took out the out that you gave them, just work yeah. on, like, pounding it through. Just work on making it a part of you and work on just delivering it like you would deliver it to anybody, dude. Just certainty. Dude, say that shit to yourself all day long. Yeah. Say that to I mean, you're on, dude, you have, a, you have a list. Just call these motherfuckers over and over and over and over and over. And you'll start to, you'll start to hear, it's like the jabs, right? When you jab at people, you'll start to hear when you're on the phone what things you're saying and you'll start to be, you'll start to, what you'll do is you will take all this and you will create temple. You know what I mean? Like mine's different than Mike's. The whole structure is the same, but the program... The program is the same. You know what I mean? Like it's, we're all structured similarly, but we all do it differently. And it's what works for us. And it's honestly, dude, like, it's just, just, you got to get in there. You know, my favorite saying, just lift your skirt, grab your balls and fucking call everybody. Just <laughs> remember, dude, this is like, no pun intended. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny or nothing. Just remember your body's example. And you got to respect that. Okay. <laughs> hey, Angel, do you have anything for Gage? Uh, as in, like, you want to practice? <laughs> you got a credit card? <laughs> <laughs> you have any Pizza, MasterCard, hey, so American I'm Express, baby. You guys want to buy our sales program? No. Uh, you take PayPal? No questions? Okay. I can take PayPal. What about you, Joseph? Joseph, you got any questions, man? I don't get to talk to you very often. Um, more like trying to find, like, higher, higher ticket, like, clients, because a lot of my clients are, like, 500 a month, which might be... Okay. Um, not the highest. So I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to like find like higher people, which is why I'm sending these videos. Is like the cold calling. Cold calling. Uh -huh. they, they don't always tend to be the best clients. Okay. So when you're saying high ticket, I mean as far because you're you're the one looking for a high ticket client. So what would differ in your services between the clients that you have now and a high ticket client? What more would you give the high ticket client? <laughs> like like nothing much different. Um, it's just finding the higher, I guess, I just find, find the higher clients, like the ones who pay like right. okay, one, one grand a month. Uh, okay. It's just hard to kind of find them. You're, you're dealing with like mostly CrossFit, right? Yeah. In, in the UK, they're like really small, whereas, but in the US, right. it's a bit different. So I might start calling right. the US. So, dude, gym owners, gym owners over personal trainers, if you're looking for high ticket, for one, because they need more and they're busier. So they can't take on as much as a personal trainer can. We, like, like with what we do, we can teach a personal trainer how to pretty much run their business. With a gym, we kind of do it for them. So you, you've got to do either one of two things. Either one, if you're looking for high ticket and there's not really going to be too much of a difference in your services, just raise your prices. If you're looking for a high ticket client per se, then you package your stuff to where you're going to be giving them a little bit more because there's going to be a difference in somebody that for instance with us pays two g's for a program up front one time lifetime to learn the stuff that's not too too much of course we support but if you're paying us you know a couple grand up front and then a monthly retainer of a nice amount there's a lot of extra stuff that's added into that you know what i mean so you either got to defer the two or just up yeah. your prices i believe you could probably get more off of what you're already doing if you were to just up your price point a little bit just kind of keep how, it cool how, with like the people you already 
like right now how are you finding them like how are you how do you find like the because in, in the uk like mm-hmm. a lot of them a lot of these like crossfits they're not like a lot of them like work jobs a lot of them like right they're, 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 like really small facilities so they can't afford like a, a thousand pound a month if that makes sense yeah so, so, no i get you it's just yeah. a, it's just a different scale out there a different size a different yeah. operation maybe I get crossfit's it. not your target audience true that it could be you know because there, there's tons of different types of gyms per se you know what i mean but i mean really finding them i mean are you you're are, you're running ads right now as far as your clients right um no, no i'm not i'm not running ads now well, you're, here, you're not running ads right now close. let yeah. me ask you a question right now i'm gonna ask you a question look at me and answer the question okay what is your target audience uh exactly CrossFit. okay okay, so okay. CrossFit. that's your target audience that's who you want to work with like, what is the avatar of your client? Um, okay. It's fine. Or like your ideal. Just figure that out today and then message it to Mike or me on Facebook. That's mm-hmm. step number one. Step number two is if you're going to work with CrossFit gyms, we already know the problem is they can't do the transformation session. It takes too long. You seem to be running into this problem. You want to make more money? Target audience is CrossFit. You take your spin off of what you already have. Find what works for them as a program raise your prices and sell them a program. You're not getting them leads. You're selling them something that actually is like, okay, here's the leads and here's how you fucking close them. Cause this is here's the main program. program. Yeah. The yeah. Product. I, just, I just, I need to, I need to develop that program though, Cause like I need, I need to like figure out how to develop that program. But once you get your target audience and you develop that program, okay. it's going to be ridiculous. Like I've worked with plenty of, fitness business coaches and stuff like that you know like that's how once you develop the program and get it out there that's when it's a game changer guys we got 14 minutes gage you got to shake like right to freeman in 14 okay yeah um okay cool what else what do you guys have any questions for these guys gage uh joseph temple oh just just framing in general as a concept, where can I go learn more on that? Like, where's some good resources to do my homework? You looking at a motherfucker? <laughs> Module four in the Motivated Training Clients uh, program, baby. Dan Henry. Give me a call. Give Mike a call. Dude, I, Temple, I, I'll tell you the same thing. I tell a lot of, you know, the other guys that Mike's coaching right now. Dude, like in the evening and like kind of like outside of like our production hours, dude, call me. We'll drill. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm open. Are you guys so, enjoying this? So. Are you guys learning shit? Yeah. I'm going to take you up on that, Gage. Angel, you get it. Let's get it on. You said what, uh, Mike? You learning? I said, you this? I said let's get of it on. Of course. Of course. My man. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> let me talk to you guys just real quick about a couple things. And then Alex and Gage, you guys jump in. Uh, uh, I'll quiz real quick. Tell me the process. What is it? I'm sorry? Sales process. What is it? Look at Joseph. Uh, are you talking about the actual demo? The whole process. The whole process. Cold call. Um, obviously, uh, you know, get their trust. Get the meeting. Okay. Nope. We'll Wrong. The meeting. Joseph Newton. Fact find. Intro. Fact find. Okay. Test close. No. close. No. Demo. Test close. Close. Okay. Good. Good. So. Oh, see. So I do my fact finding in the meeting. At the very yeah. at the very start of it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, so, you come me out before I can get there. No, you started saying cold call and all sort of shit. Here's the sales process, okay? Here's the sales process. And the reason why I want to break this down again is because you want to master each and every step of this, okay? And, you, you know, introduction. Okay. Back, fine. Demo. Actually, intro, fact find, demo, test, close, and close. So you guys just want to lock those down, and I'm going to help you guys continue to lock those down. I want you guys, this here, demo, I want you to remember this. This is not even called a demo. It's not a demonstration. It's a presentation. Okay, do you understand the difference between the de- a demo and a presentation? Showtime. It's showtime. Just remember that. Joseph, what's the difference between a demo and a presentation? Uh, is a demo where you just like showing something for free, and then a, like a presentation is where you're trying to like show again. So anybody could do a demo. Okay, me, I want to be an artist. Me, I want to be and want to include them. I want to wow them. I want to I want to do like a presentation. You know, like when you go to like the circus 
and it's like Cirque du Soleil. It's like a fucking, it's like a presentation. When you see like, you know, Beyonce performing on stage, it's like this big, it, you're not doing a demo, dude. This is artistry, okay? okay. This is artistry, so, you know, it's, not, it, it's a presentation, dude. That's what you're giving. You're not giving a, a demo, okay? So I, got, I want you guys to remember that. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about real quick is this, uh, the close. What is the best, like, how do you close? Joseph, how do you close? When, when you ask for the money, what do you do? Uh, the whole damn deal when you ask for the money. Wait, like, which bit there? Like, because there's, like, two, like, from the from the very start of the close, or, like, so I asked the, I asked the, I did the test close, like, you know, what do you think so far? So I showed the case to these, and then I asked, yeah, you know, yeah. What, what do you think so far? Normally at that point, yeah, this, this looks really good. Um, and then I say, I kind of, okay, you know, let's reveal the curtain. And I kind of show them everything. Yeah. And I go, you know, this is like value stack it basically. Um, I let them know it's month to month. There's no contract lock because a lot of them kind of feel that if they're locked in something, right. then they're not going to want to do it. Um, and then I say, um, I said the price and I say, have you heard enough to make a decision? And then at that point it's either yes or no. And then it goes into objections. Okay. Beautiful. Temple, do you use that line? Uh, yeah, I, I do. I actually, yeah, I go down to the proposal value stack. You see my proposal. Um, I've, I've built it out to be like two pages long now and, yeah. uh, I go, I go down the entire thing and then I, what I like saying pretty much is like, are you ready to get started? That's just how I go for it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Are you ready to get started? <laughs> ready to rock? My famous thing, dude, this is like, this is not even my famous thing. This is Grant Cardone's thing, but this is what I use every single time. Have you heard enough to make a decision? That's it. Hey, listen, it's $5,000. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. I'm going to blow this up for you. You're going to love it. I'm going to be here for you. When you call, I'm going to answer. And we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to make a lot of freaking money. And we're going to get people fit. Temple, have you heard enough to make a decision? You know, simple as that. Simple as that. And then when you get the payment, how do you pay? Visa, MasterCard. You know, Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. Simple as that. You know what I mean? Uh, yo, Joe, are you still there? I don't, I don't think he's still here. Okay, he'll, he'll jump back on. Hey, are, are you, Temple, where are you at right now with getting people to sign? Are you getting them to sign the contract? Um, yes, that's my, my main thing, as you know, I've been fucking up with. is I, I lost that $3,000 deal, deal because I didn't get him to sign right there on the spot. Um, that's something I, I need to start doing now, no matter what. I did it with that one guy down in San Diego, and it went it went pretty well. Yeah. Um, I, I need to do that more now instead, instead of just sending the docu sign and waiting for them to get back to me whenever. Okay, so Angel, we're not quite there yet, dude. We're like literally in week one, but when we're when we okay, so we go through the sales process, right? We do like an introduction. Okay, hey, my name is Mike. I want to help you. We do some fact finding. You know, we ask them some questions where they're at. We find out where they're at. We do the presentation or the demonstration. We do a test close, and now we're now we're in the close. Once it, once you say, "Man, are you ready to rock and roll? Have you heard enough?" The dude, yeah, dude, hundred percent. I love it. Okay. Don't wait for them to. Don't send them the paperwork. You no, you do it with them. Work. You've seen all my closes. I've seen it. You like actually fill them out, and like while you're filling them out, something that I noticed, you sort of like make jokes. Like I don't I'll know if that's it, like I'll make it lighter. You make it lighter, like I know it's like a hard part, like you know, you're, they're actually signing and they like seeing the price and they're like, oh shit, I'm about to commit. And you just like turn that away by just like interacting with the, right. with them while you're like signing their stuff. And you're like, hey, like I remember, I think it's like Mary. You're like, oh, like who are you there with? Like your whole team or something like that. And she was like, I'm the whole team. And then you were like, oh fuck yeah, some shit like that. And she just like, yeah. laugh. And then you were like, okay, it's gonna be seven hundred fifty dollars a month. And then you just said some some other shit. And she just like. She sort of like saw, okay, $750 a month, but you like turn that attention away yeah. to something else. And she did see the price that you can't say that she didn't, uh, but you just like took away that like, uh, I guess like that that period where she could be like, oh, fuck, like I'm about to sign up for this. And right. blah, blah, blah. Do, so yeah. You know when I say demonstration presentation? Mm -hmm. I'm like doing like a fucking comic damn rendition. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a damn show basically. Yeah, yeah. Not the whole thing. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Okay, Definitely. cool. So, Temple, um, I, I could work more one-on-one -on -one with you, and we could do this through drilling. You, mm -hmm. I fill out the fucking contract every time. Y'all send it over to the docracy, but I fill it out. 
Um, there's, it's not like I've, I've reached some restriction or something that like is preventing me from doing that. And they're like, I'm getting some kind of weird negative feedback when trying. It's just, I'm literally not even asking for it. That's my problem. Yeah. So you forget. Problem. Yeah. You forget, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it, I get, the, I get the yes. Put and that I get shit on nervous. a piece of paper in front of you when you're on the phone. Just yeah. There, big ass contract. Yep. Okay. We got, we have five minutes. I want to talk to you guys about something for two minutes real quick. We'll, we'll hold off on communication. I want, to, I want to talk to you guys about altitude, okay? Altitude. I'm telling you like this, dude, we have over 100 fucking clients, trainers and gym owners that we work with. Out of 130 fucking trainers and gym owners besides Alex, there's only been one fucking dude that can actually game me up or teach me some shit about business. There's, there's none of these fucking dudes. No, like, they, they, very few of them can actually, oh, now you're back? Now you just gonna come back when you want? <laughs> now you back. Joseph. Hey, what? Could you hear me? I like. <laughs> so you just come and go when you want. So right? Now you back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Joseph, last thing I'm gonna talk about, dude. Altitude. 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 Okay. So I was saying that out of a hundred plus trainers and gym owners that I work with, dude, I think I'm gonna post this one public. So if you guys are watching, no, no, no uh, disrespect. There's very few of them that are going to teach me about business. There's very few, okay? And they're, I'm, I'm talking about sales. I'm talking about operations. I'm talking about communication. I'm talking about the whole damn thing. If, they talk, if I went into the world as a, as a trainer, they, they would know way more than me about health and fitness, okay? And I'm not saying that. But as a business guy, as a marketer, very few people know more than me, okay? Why? Because I put in the time, I fucking invest the money, and I put in the work, Okay? I'm 34 years old. I've been going, I've been listening to audio tapes and been going to sleep and I've been listening to my car for the last almost a decade now. Okay. And very few people I, I, I know have put in that kind of work. Okay. I went over to GC's office to learn the stuff that I'm teaching you guys. Okay. I've paid a lot of money. Me and Gage have paid tens of thousands of dollars. You know, we have coaches. Okay. So if I know that dude, if I know that, Okay, I genuinely know I have more data than like 99.9% .9 of these personal training gym owners. Okay, so if I know I have this information and this ability, I have the confidence, I have the certainty, like, dude, like, you're going to take my product today. I, I just come with the absolute altitude, dude. And when I come like that, these guys that are seeing my demo, they're like, okay, this is not no internet punk. Like this guy's the real deal. You learn from this guy, and when you come with that kind of altitude, dude, it just it, it just, it's, it's like beyond confidence, dude. It's certainty, okay? It's certainty. You know, if uh, I were to cold call or someone were to cold call a car dealership right now and ask for the general manager, dude, the guys would be like, dude, I don't got fucking time. Take a message. The number one guy in automotive sales, Grant Cardone, if we're to call and the receptionist says, hey, you know, Grant Cardone called. The guy's going to pick up the damn phone because the guy, he, he's, he's put in the work, dude. He has the uh, reputation. He has the altitude. You know, it's just, this is huge. Gage, you see me slam people just on pure altitude, dude, and, and, and on rep, reputation. So, altitude. Sometimes it was the only thing that was needed. I've had deals that, you know, were, were kind of starting to go the wrong way until I just let Mike step in, and then the altitude was – the push needed to get at that extra little inch. And, and the last couple, like, if, if Gage is working a deal or Mon's working a deal or Mon was working a deal, I'll literally jump on the phone, dude. And like, like there was Gage and Amon, both you guys. There was uh, his guy Jaime, and then your guy in Connecticut, Brian, I think, or the guy in Connecticut. <clears throat> yeah. I jump on. I'm like, dude, listen. Like, how come you haven't got started with this yet, man? What's the deal? And they just start laughing. One guy was like scared as hell. He's like, okay, I'm ready to pay. I jump on, dude. I was like, dude, what's the deal, man? My guy's been hunting you down. My guy's been chasing you. For what, what he told me, he's been doing everything asked. How come you haven't got started, man? But there's like that balance. You don't want to be a dick or a jerk. But you got sometimes you just got to fucking flex. It just depends on the situation. Yep. Okay, altitude, dude. We'll talk more about that, man. We, we got short time. Uh, you guys got anything for Gage and Alex in these next two minutes? Uh, let me see. Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Just to say something. 
And just like one page, two page, three page. Four I like page. writing a lot and then just like reading it over. People straight up. I got a few meetings today. So could I get the Zoom link uh, sometime before 11 uh, Pacific Standard Time? Would that be possible? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to post this one public, dude. Perfect. Yeah. Temple, work on your intro, bro. Okay. Once you get the intro down, and like the, it's the close is hard, obviously, but the intro is the most important part because it, the like, known trust, affinity, when it flows, it's just like you're talking to your homie, you know? Yeah. Like it's just like you're talking to one of us on the phone. When you get it to that level, then it's much easier for you to not be nervous or anxious about asking them for the money. A lot of people have a, pro a problem asking for the money, and that's what it is. It's just, it's just that. Mm -hmm. you know? Don't, I mean, you're calling these guys. You know you can help them. It's the beginning. You're learning. I mean, just keep going, dude. It's all – I mean, it's like riding a bike, right? You could learn how to ride a bike, but you, then there's a guy that does BMX and X Games, right? This motherfucker's been practicing his bike every fucking day doing, like, tail whips and 360s and – you know what I mean? So right. that's what you got to do. You just got to get on the phone and do it. And like Mike said with the um, personal development and stuff like that, like, when I'm working, I literally, when I'm making calls on the phone, I'll be listening to, like, John Hopkins or um, – Oh, I can't think of his name right now. Eric Thomas. Eric, not Eric Thomas. Uh, it is yeah, it's not, I listen to Grant a lot too, but I've listened to Grant a lot, so I've been kind of like fluctuating on other stuff. Uh, Alex, we have TJ Jakes. The old school guy. What's his name? Old Hector Lamar. Guy. Hector Lamar. Oh, no. oh, 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 Les Brown. No, no, no. It's the sales guy. It's the sales guy. Brian Tracy. Brian Tracy. Brian Tracy. So basically, all I can say is if, if you're like me, like my headphones are in my ears. I'm not even kidding, like eight, 70, 80%, maybe more. Just when you're calling in between calls, just have that shit on there, dude. Listen to that shit in the shower. Listen to when you go to bed. It becomes part of your subconscious mind. It will, mm -hmm. like I hate the word mindset, but it will reframe your mindset to, it'll reprogram you to be yeah. like that. Like you mm -hmm. just, and then you're, you're hearing it. You're doing it. You're on the calls. You're listening. Your life now will become that. And it's easy. It becomes easy at some point. It really does. And there's always going to be one guy, like, even to this, it's very rare, but I'll get on with someone that just, like, I can't connect with them. And then you're just like, fuck. And at that point, you're But like, you don't oh. even want that guy anyways. Yeah, that, exactly. Then at that point, you realize, you're like, this guy's going to make my life miserable. Why the hell do I want to work for him? You know? Okay, so yeah. last thing. Look, Alex, this guy is a boss by definition. Okay, he owns a gym and he has a team. So, guys, he wanted to jump on here just because of one thing. He's, he wanted to support you guys. He's like, dude, Mike, I want to meet the crew. That's what's like, up. And he's a fucking yeah. gym owner, okay? I appreciate it. So, yeah, I just want to help you guys, you know? And I've been in the personal training industry for a long time. Like, I, I actually took the leap to own the gym. And, you know, I'm grinding, too, because paying off the gym and all that stuff, like, it's not like you make a million bucks overnight, dude. It's, it's a fucking process. I'm in that, like, entrepreneur game right now. You know what I mean? Like, I just bought the business. I got to build the whole thing up and pay for it and uh, all the stuff that comes with it. But I had a lot of success as a personal trainer, especially because I don't know how many of you guys know my story. I was 320 pounds. I was addicted to drugs and alcohol. Like, this shit fucking saved my life. I have a passion for it. It's easy for me to tell this to people that are struggling because I'm not trying to sell it. I'm trying to help a person whose shoes I've been in before, you know? And you're doing real estate, right? You've been in their shoes. You need those fucking leads. You know, you have to stand out, be the, be the, uh, be the other guy, you know what I mean? But in a good way. And I'm, it just comes, dude. Like once, once you start getting, like, I remember when I first started, I was first started calling leads, I was nervous and I, I was only targeting women. So the second that I had men on there, I would get nervous about talking to them sometimes. I don't know why it was like a mental block. And then all of a sudden I called enough of them and now it's like, I don't care. I'll get on the phone with like your grandpa who makes $3 million a year and I'll talk to him about personal training and his business, you know, relatability, dude, relatability. If you can talk to anyone and match their conversation with the knowledge of what they like and do in their life, you can connect with anybody. You know, like here's a perfect example. I was talking to this guy. He's a lawyer, makes a lot of money super into cars and motorcycles. I love cars. I love motorcycles. So the second I found that out, I started talking to him about that. And he's like, Oh my God, like this kid is young. He's driven. He's like, got his things together. He loves all the same things. What happened? Boom. Right there. You're in ticket. Look for your ticket. You know, once you see the ticket like you, what do you like to do outside of the, like outside of work? What's your thing? 
Uh, I like to. I've been doing just getting back in the fight game. I used to do boxing, so now I'm doing a uh, jiu jitsu. I'm really trying to get my ground game. Okay, perfect. A lot of young real estate agents look out, and most people our age are into jiu jitsu or Muay Thai or going to the gym. You know, you just have to find those little hooks. And even if it's not something that you're super into, as long as you know enough about topic to make conversation, then you have that. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know a lot about jujitsu, but I could talk to you about it for 20 minutes and make you think that I do. You know what yeah. I mean? Real, real yeah. quick, because Gage got to bounce, dude. He, and also, too, Gage is busy as fuck. Gage has a closing deal in 25 in minutes. 25 minutes. So, Gage, everybody thank Gage. Did he leave? Thank you, Gage. Thank you, All right, brother. Anytime, dude. Anytime. Gage French. <laughs> All right, Gage. I'll hit you back, dude, when I get out of here. All right, brother. I'll talk to all you guys soon. See ya. Have a good one. All right, we're, we're all right. this over, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys all go, man. We, we'll 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 do more of this. I had a good fucking time. I think yeah. you guys did too. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit up each and every one of you guys within the hour. Uh, then we'll I I think a couple of our schedule. Yeah. A couple of them if we got a meeting like it, set at sit in like an hour. I think we, we do. But I'm gonna call you though. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna call you, Alex. I'm gonna call you immediately. Okay. Hey, hey, homework. Intro, 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 intro. Thank, Thank you, man. Yeah. What do you, got, you got anything? What else you got? You got that, this temple, Alex, anything else for these guys? I mean, based upon what you told me, what you guys have said to me, I mean, I just think that, uh, you know, you guys are glued in here and you're listening and you're focused, which is really good. So, um, but just make sure you have personality in your, in your programs, you know, in your pitch. Scott, one, one, one thing. I remember that you said, uh, Alex, when you were first starting out, you said you had no idea uh, what you were doing, right? So a lot of these guys, like, all of you, you, you already have some results regarding like whatever industry you're in. Like uh, Temple has already closed some deals on the real estate. Joseph uh, has already closed some deals on the on the fitness, and you already have a gym. Mike has his agency. Me starting now, I have like results on a total different industry. Like e-commerce, sort of has nothing to do I'll with uh, 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 gym. So like, how do you find that confidence of like, oh, I could do this for you if if you haven't already if you haven't done it yet. You just gotta I'll keep be honest. You need to get a win. Okay. Go Temple. I was gonna say what I do, and I don't mind sending you these over too. It's like Mike said, it's not lying, it's just framing things differently. I took my buddy who's a real estate agent running ads for realtors, took his screenshots because I know my buddy was gonna help me build out these ads. I said, Hey, these are the results we've had. Hold up, hold up. Fuck. Who's this? All right. Sorry, guys. Somebody's okay. angry. Oh, right Cops right at his fucking door. <laughs> and he's in New York, man. They didn't fucking right oh, <laughs> Get on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we might want to stay out for this shit. <laughs> I mean, it's just Amazon. Holy shit. Huh? Hey, hey, people in New York are angry, bro. <laughs> hey, we don't have to go the feds, man. What the? <laughs> dude, dude, this is how you... Get on the ground. Amazon's <laughs> Packages. I'm hey, not Joseph, in New York, though. I'm in New Jersey. Oh, hey, just like, man, you're all bloody mad. <laughs> it's like I'm on a call and people hey, so just knocking on the door. Last thing, we're going to end it on this note, dude. So listen, if, if, I, if I buy a Subway, okay, if I invest into a franchise, dude, I'm going to be confident selling Subway because I got the recipe, I got the formula, I got the people behind it, I got the marketing. You guys, listen, I kill shit when it comes to health and fitness. You're buying the Subway, okay? You have the confidence. Also, too, you're not going to have case studies like me. Not yet. Okay? I told Joseph the same thing I told Temple. Get people to talk to you about your character. Tell your best friend. Tell your you, – you're, you're, you go to the gym, what, five days a week, right? Okay. Six. Six. Okay, so perfect. Even better. You have a friend. You have a family member that could say, hey, huge shout-out to Angel. He's an internet marketer operating out of the Northeast. This guy is an absolute shark. He's incredible. He's professional. If you're looking for someone that's going to deliver, he's your guy. In addition to what he's doing in marketing, he absolutely loves health and fitness. I personally witness him go to the gym six days a week, all year long. Again, my name is Mike. I'm a real dude. Look me up, the Mike Barron one on Instagram. But back to Angel, he will not let you down. Go see him. Tell him that Mike sent you. Take care. And all their, those are just character testimonials references okay you're not they're not gonna you, you don't want to lie they're not gonna say he generated a, a you know a million clients for me in the first week because we're just not quite there yet but we will i told temple the same thing dude get, he said the same thing mike i don't have results i'm like dude get character references he got fucking character references and now he has the results and he's getting more 
You know what I mean? Sure. Okay, guys, sure. we got to all run. Look for my follow-up in the hour. We can talk a lot more. Uh, time is now to go. All right, guys. Peace. See you. See you later.